Hello students, welcome back in SST class of 6th standard. This is day 2 of this chapter. In the previous video, I had discussed location of South America, political division of South America. In today's class, we will discuss and read the Western Coastal Strip through map. But before we start this topic, I want to take feedback of the previous topics through cross questions. Number 1. What is the size and shape of the South America? Number 2. Name the hemisphere in which South America is located. Number 3. Name the water bodies that surround the continent South America. Number 4. How does South America join with North America? Number 5. What is the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of South America? Number 6. Name the countries of South America through which the equator passes. Number 7. Name the important latitudes of South America. Number 8. What is the east-west and north-south extent of South America? Number 9. How many countries are there in South America? Number 10. Which is the largest country of South America? Number 11. Which is the smallest country of South America? Number 12. Which are the landlocked countries of South America? And last, number 13, which are the main islands group of South America? Now students, let's discuss the important terms that we are going to do in this topic. Number 1, archipelago means a group of islands. Number 2, desert means dry and sandy area. Number 3, mineral means natural substance found inside the surface of the earth. For example, iron, copper, etc. Now students, open page number 93 of your book. Now we will read, do you know, discovery of South America. Here discovery means the act of find something. So let's start reading. Christopher Columbus discovered the continent in 1498. Students, this information is wrong because Christopher Columbus discovered the South America in 1492. So cut this 1498 and write 1492 there. Though this continent was discovered in 1498, again students cut 1498 and write it down 1492. Yet its civilizations were developed long before the arrival of Christopher Columbus. Students, here civilization means stage of human social development. Students, here the question rises. Who discovered the continent of South America and when? And the answer is, Christopher Columbus discovered the continent of South America in 1492. Next, that time South America was ruled by Inca Empire. Here, empire means kingdom. It was one of the most advanced civilizations of the world. Beautiful cities, roads and temples were built by Inca people. Students, the Inca Empire was a vast empire that flourished in the Andes region of South America from early 15th century AD. It was the oldest civilization of South America. Now next, Europeans started coming to South America in search of gold and silver. They visited Latin America. The term Latin America is used for South America, Central America, Mexico, the West Indies and the Caribbean countries. Students, mark this line. They are called so because they were first colonized by Latin-speaking Europeans. Even today, most of Latin American countries use Spanish and Portuguese languages. Students, see this map. This is the map of Latin America. Here, South America, Middle America. Students, Middle America means we are talking about Central America. Then North America and West Indies together are known as Latin America because they were discovered and colonized mainly by the people from Southern Europe that is the Spanish and Portuguese. The language of these countries are derived from Latin. Most Latin American countries speak Spanish or Portuguese. Now we will read next paragraph. During 1500, Pedro Alves Cabral a Portuguese sailor discovered Brazil and claimed it to be the land of the Portuguese. 
students mark this line here sailor means a person who works on a ship students this is the picture of pedro alvarez cabral a portuguese sailor he was the first european who discovered brazil and claimed it to be the land of portuguese next very soon most of the south american countries were conquered by the spanish and portuguese students here conquered means to take control of a country especially in a war next they exploited the wealth of south america students here exploited means to use someone or something for profit and wealth means money due to their selfish nature south american peoples rebelled against them here rebelled means revolt it means the people of south america rebelled against the europeans because they exploited them and their wealth and one more reason was the people of south america wanted complete independence from europeans next simon bolivar and san martin were their leaders students this is the picture of simon bolivar and san martin they both were the leaders of south american movement for independence now we will read last paragraph in the early 1800s the south american colonies became independent students mark this line today there are 12 independent countries in south america except french guiana which is a french territory here territory means area it means french guiana is a part of the european union students this last exercise answer the following questions you will do yourself now students next topic we have physical features of south america here physical features means natural features on the earth surface south america can be divided into four major physical divisions here major means main number 1 the western coastal strip number 2 the western mountains or the western cordillera number 3 the central plains and number 4 the eastern highlands students today we will discuss first physical feature of south america the western coastal strip now students open page number 95 of your book now we will read the western coastal strip now let's start reading it stretches from the northern tip to the southern tip of south america students this is the extension of south america the western coastal strip expands along peru ecuador colombia and chile next it is bounded by the andes mountains in the east and the pacific ocean in the west the southwestern part of the western coastal strip is characterized with an archipelago archipelago refers to an extensive group of islands students mark this line here archipelago means a group of islands and islands means a piece of land surrounded by water on all sides now students let's discuss all these points through map students here you can see the physical map of south america first we will discuss the location of the western coastal strip The western coastal strip lies in the west side of South America along with the Pacific Ocean. Number second point extension. It extends from northern tip to the southern tip of South America. Number third countries. It expands along Colombia, Ecuador, Peru and Chile. Number four bounded by It is bounded by the Andes mountains in the east and Pacific Ocean in the west. Students, here in the southwestern part of South America is distinguished with an archipelago. Students, here archipelago means group of islands in arc shape. Next, the Atacama Desert lies in the middle of this strip. Students, Here desert means dry and sandy area. Next, it is one of the driest place on the earth. It receives very less or no rainfall. Students, 
Atacama Desert has hardly any rain. It is extremely dry and hot because it lies in the leeward side of a mountain. Students, look at the picture. Here you can see windward side and leeward side of a mountain. Here windward side means a side of mountain which receive more rainfall because here prevailing winds which carry moisture strike with mountain and shed their moisture in form of rainfall and on the other side leeward side of a mountain does not receive rainfall because there is no moisture in the air that's why this region is also called rain shadow area same as atacama desert lies in the leeward side of mountain that's why it is hot and dry next the atacama desert receives a little rainfall but it is a storehouse of various minerals here minerals means natural substances found inside the surface of the earth students the atacama desert of south america is unique among the deserts of the world because it has great minerals in abundance like copper iron gold etc students this desert is famous for mining copper students look at the map of south america here you can see the atacama desert in yellow color lies in the western coastal strip and it is the one of the driest areas of the earth next earthquakes occur frequently in this part of south america students here earthquake means bhukam The earthquakes are common in this region due to volcanic activity is nearby mountains. And second reason is Pacific Ocean where many earthquake and volcanic eruption occur. And second reason is Pacific Ocean where many earthquake and volcanic eruption occur. That's why it is known as Pacific Ring of Fire. So students in this paragraph we have read location The western coastal strip lies in the west of South America along with the Pacific Ocean. Number 2 extension. It extends from northern tip to the southern tip of South America. Number 3 countries. It expands along Colombia, Ecuador, Peru and Chile. Number 4 bounded by. It is bounded by Andes in the east and Pacific Ocean in the west. Number 5 desert. The Atacama Desert lies in the middle of this strip. Number 6 speciality. Number 1 point is the Atacama Desert is the world's driest place and number 2 this area is prone to earthquake as it lies in the Pacific Ring of Fire. So students I hope this concept is clear to you all. Now your homework for today is read the topic that we did plus revise terms and do exercise first. very short answer type questions on copy thank you